My name is Nadia Aguilar Cates and I grew up in San Diego, California. I moved here to Provo when I was accepted to BYU and I stayed here since then. It's been almost 15 years. Uh, I'm a mother of six, five boys and one girl. I have a platform for Latina girls in the community called Ella Rises and this is important to me because I am a Latina as well and we are creating a project for them to empower them and we're doing so by exploring our heritage through art and leadership classes taught by Latina leaders in the community. I think that at some point in my adolescence, there was a disconnect with my heritage. And it did, it affected me because there was some shame tied to that. There were some things that I've had to work through that I didn't know were issues. But in order to, to fully, to show up my most authentic self to the community, to my family, I needed to love all of me. And all of Nadia involves the Mexican part the immigrant part, the first generation immigrant, the daughter of immigrants, the daughter of parents who learned English as um, a young girl. The day I became a U.S. citizen, I was in like third grade. Um, I went to be to my like citizenship ceremony and when I came back to school I came in with my green dress and I even had like one of those 80s or 90s dresses with like a bib on it <laughs> like a white bib on it I was super excited to show up and tell my friends and classmates I, I was little but I knew that it had been a special occasion and when I walked into that classroom some of my classmates started to make fun of me saying um, saying derogatory terms of that were tied to being Mexican and they did not share in my joy and neither did nobody stood up for me in that moment not my teacher not another classmate to to celebrate what had just occurred Ella Rises is important to me and one of the reasons why I felt like this was something that needed to be done is because I don't think there is a, a space for the Latinas, the Latina youth in our community to, to come together as women. Our girls are a demographic that is affected heavily by our cultural um, traditions. I wish that Provo understood the value that the Latino population in our city can bring to our, already brings to our community. Just this year, two of the, our neighbors and families in our neighborhood from Venezuela purchased their first home here. I remember when my parents purchased their first home and it's the home I grew up in. It was, it was a symbol of, of what they had worked for and why they had arrived here. One of my passions to embrace our heritage and take what we have and see how we can contribute to the community. Know who you are, know what your strengths are, and, and then come to that gathering, wherever that space is, and bring your strengths, bring your, yourself, your authentic self, and see how you can contribute to that community, to that space, and, and be open for others' 